Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video, my first video actually, on my solar system that I am uh, slowly but surely getting put together. Uh, uh, DIY, I am uh, I'm a newbie <clears throat> at this and I'm just learning from watching YouTube videos. The guy that I find uh, uh, most uh, knowledgeable there is the OBX Soul Wind guy out there in the Outer Banks, OBX SOL Wind. Uh, guy's God, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to solar, <laughs> he is the one that knows what he's doing. And I highly suggest watching his videos uh, when it comes to solar and a lot of other things. Um, but anyway, I just purchased this uh, Powerbright 6000 watt modified sine wave inverter. I don't know how well it's going to work. We'll see. I couldn't afford the, the good one that you get, the pure sine wave, the one I want's too expensive. So I'm going to try this one for a while see how it goes. Anyway, I got this from Home Depot online. I like the hard wire output there and the big cables it came with. Comes with the uh, comes with the meter. Got a nice digital readout there on off switch remote plug in. Four outlets. Uh, six, they say six thousand watt, but you know, I would probably feel more comfortable going to about three thousand uh, continuously. I'm not going to max it out, of course, but I like the extra lug too. Big cooling fan, uh, twelve volt DC. Check that out and see how that works. Um, currently, got eight six volt golf cart batteries, deep cycle. They're about 225 amp hours each. Uh, got them hooked up series in series parallel. Um, built that battery ba battery bank holder there, and uh, probably going to enclose that and vent it outside. It's venting into my garage, and I don't like that. Uh, so anyway, that's another project. I'm going to take that inverter down there and use it somewhere else out on one of my sheds and um, right now I'm using the TriStar charge controller which I really like I ordered it with the meter which I highly suggest uh, because you don't know what's going on if you don't order the meter and come on focus that thing in yeah it's gonna be blurry but anyway, TriStar, good product. Uh, that's where the panels come in. Makeshift on-off switch there. I found that box laying around somewhere and used it to cut off the power to my Grape Solar 250 watt, uh, the 12 volt monocrystalline solar panels. Got two of them. Only got one hooked up. Anyway, uh, there's the old Harbor Freight. Um, so, like I said, work in progress. I did a uh, sub panel off my two uh, main electric boxes there and uh, I pulled off the breakers that I felt I needed during a power outage uh, you know the well pump um, uh, the uh, furnace refrigerator a couple outlets lights TVs you know all that so I've got all the important outlets wired up there and I just cut the mains off when, when I have a power outage and flip the switch I flip a switch so that that acts as the main and the few breakers I've selected will uh, work as my backup and that goes outside to a plug um, we'll fire this generator up right here and uh, pull it around here and plug it into this outlet and then it powers up that main powers up the, the breakers there that works out nice and that's my 50 amp plug for my RV, my second form of backup there. And I'll just show you real quick <coughs> the mount I've got going. I didn't put them up on the roof. Uh, felt like it was easier to put them this way. I've mounted them on a makeshift mount there. And I've left room at the bottom for some Harbor Freight. I've got about six Harbor Freight 45 watt panels. I'm going to tack, uh, I'm going to. Uh, uh, put them in parallel there and uh, hook them up to this 12 volt panel anyway it's a pretty cool little setup um, got that running into the house right there and uh, got these pretty securely mounted with the brackets and like I said I've got one more one more to put one more 250 watt panel I'm gonna put right next to it but uh, this back of the house gets sun pretty much 
75-80% of the day. And I like the 12-volt system. I know people say that, uh, you know, the 24-volt, 48 is the way to go, but I kind of like the 12-volt because a lot of times my batteries need help when there's no sun for a long period of time, and I'm able just to power, or I'm able to charge them with a regular charger or my truck and help them out once in a while. You know, I'll hook a charger up to them or, you know, just uh, run them off my, my truck and I can charge them back up if they're running low. And uh, anyway, that's kind of my feeling about the, keeping it 12 volt. It just makes it convenient when you need help charging. Uh, so anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll make another video once I get this all finished and, uh, and uh, show you how it, uh, how it all works out. Anyway, that's my two cents on a uh, solar system I'm working on. Uh, if you got any ideas, let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, talk to you. I'll make another video soon.